What's up everybody and welcome to Great Wolf Lodge in Mason, Ohio, which is right outside of Cincinnati. And this is a massive indoor water park resort, over 400 rooms, and the water park is 79,000 square feet indoor water park. And uh, it's probably the selling feature of this place, but there's lots of other cool things about it. Like for one, you're right next door to Kings Island Amusement Park. There's actually a walking path that leads over here. And so today we're going to do a full 4K tour of the resort itself. Um, pretty much the only thing I don't show you today is the rooms, but there's lots of different kinds of rooms and the pictures of the rooms are easily found online. But what they don't show you on those websites, I am going to show you today, right now in this 4K tour. So hang on to your butts right after this intro. All right, so now that you guys know where we are, we're gonna take a look inside. When you first walk into the lobby, you'll notice that it's well decorated. It looks like log cabins in the log cabin. Um, the front desk itself is a big log cabin house. Really, really well decorated. Lots of cool things you'll find if you just take a look around a little bit. Maybe while you're online, look up in the air and just see what you can find. Lots of little critters and things running around. some of the critters you're going to find running around in the lobby is wolves of course because it's great wolf lodge resort after all on the grand fireplace here if you look up you'll see lots of cool looking i don't know if i don't think they're real wolves but man they look real your kids will probably believe they're real Also located in the main entrance is the clock tower, which is kind of like a clock cabin. Um, lots of animatronic animals and people you can see here. And every evening they do this thing called story time where they'll sing songs and they'll come to life basically and all the kids gather around to watch it. It's really neat to see. I didn't actually film it, so you guys will have to come check this place out to see the show. I also want to point out that in the main lobby when you enter you're entering in on the second floor because the front of the building is up higher than the back of the building but leading off of the lobby is a, quite a few places and one of them we're going to look at here is the Buckhorn Exchange which is your standard gift shop uh, but they did have some pretty cool items unique stuff because of the theme of the place they really went all out on getting some log cabin type things and camping type things and some really cool unique stuff so definitely go check this place out just a window shop if nothing else and speaking of window shopping i did think it was cool that up on the third floor where our room was from the hallway you can actually look out this window and literally window shop and right across from the Buckhorn Exchange is the Lodge Wood Fired Grill, which is really a bar and grill. Um, there's another restaurant we're going to talk about on this floor over across the way, but this is a good place, a good little snack or a drink. Nice little cool atmosphere. And this here is the other eatery I was talking about, the Loose Moose Cottage, which was actually a buffet style uh, little restaurant. I didn't eat here, so I can't tell you if it's good or not. But one place my kids at least tried was the Great Wolf Candy Company here. Lots and lots of candy, and it's right here in the main lobby. And across from the candy company here is the Dunkin' Donuts, which was fantastic for breakfast, and the prices are the same as any other Dunkin' Donuts. And the little seating area between the two places has nice windows, and you see you're up on the second floor looking down into the Aquatic Center.
And from the lobby, let's go up to the third floor where you'll find the Magi Quest Magic Shop. And this is where you get all your supplies for the game, which is played throughout the hotel. Um, you got magic wands here, and you've got lots of toppers for the magic wands. Um, your kid can choose their style, or adults. Lots of adults are playing this game, actually. But this is the shop where you get all your stuff. Lots of costume gear, um, lots of little trinkets and toys and stuffed animals, and just all magic-themed stuff. And uh, the, you play this game throughout the hotel. Like I said, there's lots of interactive things. Here's a big screen, actually. You could fight a dragon or something with your magic wand. Um, there's a forest back there. you got to go into the forest. And you get these clues during the game, and it sends you to different places throughout the hotel to find different things that are interactive. And so you see lots of people doing this the whole time you're there. And it looks like a lot of fun, actually. And it probably takes away a little bit from the swimming time. If you don't want your kids swimming the whole time and getting waterlogged, there's something else for them to do. And they can spend a lot of time playing this game. It looks pretty cool. Now from here, let's head on down to the first floor where the first thing you'll probably see is all the glittering lights from Northern Lights Arcade. It's a 9,000 square foot arcade, so it's huge and you're not gonna miss it. There's a giant bowling alley in here. It's a, it's like a little duck pin type bowling game, but it's, it's pretty big to be in the middle of an arcade. Lots and lots of games, a lot of updated games, a lot of new stuff. Um, looks like it's very up to date and the kids had a blast here. they have the ticket system so you can win tickets and turn them in for prizes lots of cool great wolf lodge themed prizes now right outside the arcade you have the glitz stand which was actually like glitter tattoos and then the element spa which was actually like a full spa and they had something called scoops which was like makeup for kids and then this great wolf kids store was like build a bear workshop uh, on the other side you have bear paul which was like a pizza stand nachos um, subs that kind of thing and uh, it kind of fits because it's right outside of the big feature here, Bear Track Landing, the indoor water park. Now, like I said, this is a 79,000 square foot indoor water park and it is packed full with lots of stuff for kids to do, lots of water features and decorations. This is a really, really cool place. One of the cool features of this water park is of course the lazy river great place to relax and then of course you've got this grizzly robs little bar here get refreshments and stuff and they're actually on the other side is a real snack stand it has hot fries and all kinds of hot food and then another one of the cool features is this big wave pool all the kids wanted to be in the wave pool it's a lot of fun when them waves kick on Then you got your lily pad crossing. My kids love this. And counting all these kitty water slides as well, I believe there were about 10 water slides. Some of the cool features of these water slides is some of them fit more people. Some of them had two people, some of them had four people in a big raft, and some of them were single, some of them were two, and uh, just lots of different kinds of water slides. And a lot of them went actually outside of the building, which is another cool feature. They go outside and then back in. And speaking of outside the building, there actually is an outdoor pool as well. Now, as you can see from this outdoor pool, you've got a great view of Kings Island. You can watch the roller coasters go by as you're swimming and having some fun in the outdoor pool in the sunshine. This pool also has an outdoor bar and a great place to get refreshments while you're out there relaxing and getting a tan. 
Now, I also want to mention that this resort does have a full gym that I didn't film, and I want to talk about the conference center a little bit because I was actually here for a conference, and the staff, the hotel, the resort handled it really well. And this conference I was actually here for was one for special needs children, and they particularly handled that well. And we actually spoke to two other couples that were there just on vacation, not for the conference, and that just happened to be there and had autistic children and mentioned that this was the only place that they can take their kids on vacation um, because of how well they handle it and uh, how you can just go back to your room and relax if things get too exciting for some of the kids. Um, so all in all, I'd say this is a fantastic place, uh, fantastic for conferences, fantastic for vacation. If you've got kids, they're going to love it. Um, I highly recommend Great Wolf Lodge. So thanks for coming along on this video with me and this tour. I hope you liked it and I hope you check the place out. Leave in a comment below if you do and let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more places that I'm going to be checking out this summer and we'll see you guys next time. Peace! I got that on video. I know.